Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I had did this set right here and I had gotten a request to do a video on it, so here it is. Um, if you guys would like to watch, stay tuned. Alright, we are going to be using these products right here, the Apres, the Matte Gel Top Coat, OPI, and another OPI Gel. This one's in Alpine Snow. This one is in 7th Inning Stretch. And this is Matte Gel Top Coat from Koopa. And this is a Priest Nail Art Ink in number 1, which is a black nail art ink. Okay, now to get started, what we are first going to be doing is we are going to be getting the seventh inning stretch and we're going just to put this all over the nail. It's a blue metallic nail polish and then we are going to be getting the Koopa matte top coat and putting it on our index finger. This is going to be for the Apres Snail Art Ink and then we are going to be using this Alpine Snow we are going to be putting it on our middle finger, our pinky, and our thumb. And once we are done applying this, you're just going to want to clean it up and make sure it's nice and neat. And making sure that um, you get it over everything nice and evenly. And next thing we are going to do after that is we are going to be putting it in the light for 30 seconds. And the light that we are using today is an LED light. All right, we are going to be putting another coat of the seventh inning stretch. And you always want to start with the regular polishes first, just so they have time to dry. And then you want to go back and use the gel polishes, just because since those go into the light, they're able to cure a lot faster. So we're just going to be putting another coat of the Alpine Snow. And you don't have to worry about putting another um, another matte top coat on it. You can just leave it like that and cure it for the 30 seconds. If you are using a UV light, you want to put it in there longer. Okay, now we are getting the mixing fluid from a priest nail art ink, getting the black nail art ink, and getting a brush of your choice. I picked this one. I'm going to be using it for two things today. You'll see what I'm going to be using it for next. And you're just going to dot the priest nail art ink all over the nail until you kind of get like the color that you want. And once you are done doing that, you're just going to mix it or you're going to put in the liquid and then just dab it on there. And then wipe your brush as you go just to get some of the liquid out. And you'll see that the using the, the liquid, it'll help to kind of separate it and blend some of the, of the art ink. All right, and then you're just going to want to let that dry. And we're going to go back and put the, the Young Nails, the Ultimate Finish Gel Top Coat on all of the nails. But we are just going to leave the one that we just did the nail art ink over. We're going to let that one dry for a little bit. And also for the, the ring finger that has the regular, the regular polish on it. Once we're done with that, put in the light for another 30 seconds. Alright, and now we're going to finally want to go and do the gel matte top coat on top of the pointer finger. I do want to wait for the, the blue one just to dry a little bit. I had just put the top coat on it, the Ultimate Finish Gel Top Coat, and now I'm going back over it with the Koopa Matte Top Coat and curing that for another 30 seconds. Alright, I'm going to get this Ar Ar Ardell wax pencil and then we are going to be putting stones on this snail right here. This is one that we did the Koopa Matte Top Coat on. And with the Koopa Matte Top Coat, you don't have to wipe it or anything like that. Now we are using this Montage Nail Resin. Um, I had gotten this from a local nail supply. And we are just going to put it on the nail. I like to use this nail resin over gel polish just because it allows the stones to stay on a lot better. 
And then I am just going to be using one of the bigger stones right here. This is a few sizes up from the very small one that I'm using. I don't know the sizes. I'm really bad with um, knowing the sizes and whatnot that I use. But in our next videos, I will be telling you exactly which ones I get just because I know some people, they do want to know that. Um, but I'll ask her next time I go what sizes I get because she knows more than what I do. I just grab the sizes that I need. And you're just going to want to put those on. Um, I like to dot everything, dot each thing of glue first and then go back and put each stone on. Sometimes I'll try to put two dots of glue at once, but for the most part I just like to do one at a time. Alright, we are going to be getting the Young Nails liquid and we are going to be pouring it into the Daffin dish that we have right there. Make sure it's clean from the mixing liquid if you are using the same dish. And then you are going to be getting some acetone. I have this pure acetone. It's from Beauty Secrets and I am just going to get a few drops of that. I only put like two or three of it in there just because it is a small amount of monomer that I'm using so I don't really need that much and I'm going to be using this white in Young Nails it's just their regular white acrylic some people they they do use like a 3D acrylic I've tried to use that it hasn't worked for me but I don't know if it was just the one that I had bought so but I have tried this with the acetone inside the monomer and I feel like it it's helped a lot and it works very very good Okay, so first things first, you're just going to want to get a bead of acrylic and make sure you get the size that you want. If you don't like the size, then you could always wipe it off and start again. And sometimes if you notice that the ball of acrylic is too runny, you could just dab the back of your brush on the paper towel and just remove some of the, the monomer from it. But if you know how to pick up a good amount without picking up too much liquid, um, then you'll be good to go. Like this one, I felt like I picked up the perfect amount and I'm just going to pat it with the belly of my brush and then the tip of my brush. And you'll kind of see me going back and forth in this clip. Um, I like to try to get it as close as possible. I like to start my acrylic from the center just so I'm able to work my way out and making sure there's no gaps in between the petals. I like it better when they're close together. I had seen this um, from a nail tech that I did mention in one of my previous videos. Her name is Fabby Nails. You could find her on Instagram. And um, you are just going to put another bead of acrylic and then drag it down with the tip of the brush. And make sure that you have the petals of your acrylic just trying to make it into a point and then patting the sides open just so it flares out the acrylic just a tad bit. If you guys follow me on social media, you guys will know that I haven't been practicing um, 3D nail art with the acrylic, so um, this is like my first thing that I do feel like I was actually satisfied with it. I did do a video on it where I was practicing and stuff, but um, I do feel like it kind of takes time to get used to so don't give up on it right away i feel like sometimes it is still hard and you do have to have the right temperature inside of inside of your room or wherever you're working just because if not sometimes i notice if it's way too cold or way too hot the the acrylic it'll dry too fast and sometimes it'll dry too slow or it'll end up looking very runny and sloppy so that's another tip I could give you. But, and then with this, you are going to want to keep patting it. And then what I like to do is, especially when it comes to the side of the nails, is like push it in with the brush a little bit, what you see I'm doing right there, just so it doesn't lose the shape of the nail, just because I still want it to look skinny at the tip of the nail. I don't want it to end up looking bulky, so that's why I did that. All right, next we are going to be putting the stones. Um, I wasn't in frame for the beginning of it, so what I did start to do was just start with the big bead in the center and then work my way down, and I'm starting to work my way back up. I'm using three different sizes right here. You'll see the bigger one, and then 
I think there's two sizes in between each stone that I have. Um, if you guys have questions about like the stone size, please feel free to message me down below um, and I will get back to you. I just need to talk to the nail, the person that I buy my nail supplies from and I'll let you know. All right, now that we're done with that side, I had worked on this side and I had did the same thing that I had did on my pointer finger. Now I'm just going in putting the mat over these two nails, or these three nails, sorry. I did this hand a little bit different just because I knew I wasn't going to be able to do the 3D acrylic on this hand, so that's why. Um, I'm on the middle finger and the thumb, I'm just going to be using the Ultimate Finish Gel on those as well. Everything is linked down below if you guys would like to check it out. Um, these are just like the products that are like usually my go-to when doing nails. Alright, and then I am going to cure that for another 30 seconds. Now that it's all finished, this is what it looks like. I did the pinky, the ring finger, and the pointer finger all map. I'm just going to be starting and doing the stones exactly like I did on my pointer finger on the other hand. And you could kind of see better in this clip of how I did it. Um, I used the biggest stone in the center and then worked my way down. I put two of the smaller stones. And then I am putting a dot and then I'm going to be putting a bigger stone. And then I'm going to be putting another small stone. And I'm going to pretty much do the same thing at the top. And then just working my way back up. But this part I am just going to be using another big stone and then going back and using another one of the smaller stones. And then on the pinky, I am just going to be putting the stones around the cuticle. I'll be putting the biggest one there. And I'll put the medium sized stone. I like to use my nails to press them into place if I need to. And you can kind of see I only put the three on and now I'm going to be doing the other side. I like to start from the center just so everything ends up nice and easily just because if I start one edge working it into till the other side, I feel like I don't really like the way that looks. Alright, this is what they ended up looking like. Alright, this is a finished look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos.